the new version of Tracy Profiler is now available. This release mainly focuses on optimizations, compatibility improvements and general polish of the user experience. For example, a list of frequently used client addresses is preserved. When a client becomes available on the local network, it is automatically discovered by the profiler. Selecting an entry will automatically establish a connection with the client. The connection information window is now available via a dedicated button. You're now able to discard the trace without restarting the profiler application. Here is a list of a couple of real-world traces captured by previous versions of the profiler and their size on the disk. The improved saving algorithm significantly reduces the on-disk size of traces. Not only the sizes are reduced, but the traces also are loaded quite a bit faster. Here you can see a capture with millions of zones, spanning over a day. New optimizations make it possible to inspect such trace with no slowdown. Have you noticed a smooth zooming animation? Lock drawing was also optimized, making it possible to display more information while preserving the UI smoothness. And a propos locks. You can now view general information about any lock. The notification area and new addition displays various low priority information, such as trace loading time. Call stack captures were improved in many ways. For example, you can now see inline function calls, which give more insight into program flow. Call stacks captured on Linux now include proper source file and line information. If you are using Lua, you will be happy to know that Lua call stack capture is now also possible. Here you can see how Lua call stack is integrated seamlessly into the zone trace. The zone information window now also displays text messages sent while the zone was active. And as we are talking about messages, you can now set custom color for messages, for example to make it more easy to see errors. If that's not enough, the message list can be filtered using keywords. The find zone menu also was improved in many ways. For example, when looking at the function execution times histogram, you can opt to only view the function's self-time. To better see important areas on the histogram, there's now an option to ignore random outliers. The zone grouping mode can now be set to group by call stacks, with an alternate mode of display, showing distinct call stack of each group. When a zone list associated with the group is displayed, the entries can be sorted by selected criteria. In the memory window the call stack tree was renamed to bottom-up call stack tree. This is due to addition of top-down call stack tree, which organizes call stack paths in a reverse order. Notice that the floor class constructor is listed many times. While this behavior is correct, as each entry is a different stack frame, you could expect that entries should be grouped by function names. Now there is an option to do so, which greatly improves the readability of the tree. Another usability improvement is the ability to reorder threads in the options menu. Viewing a list of child zones might be problematic when the zone has many children. For example, which function here should be optimized first, pulse update, or advance? Grouping the child zones gives a clear answer. Now how about something completely new? The profiler is now automatically collecting and reporting the system CPU usage. Take note that this also includes the load of all other programs running simultaneously with the profiled application. Another new feature is the ability to collect application screenshots so that you can see what was happening in any given frame. Frame images can be seen on the frame time graph as well as on the frame set display. You can even do a replay of what the application was doing in real time. Sensing the timeline will focus the view on the frame related to the current image. Frame images are compressed on the client with an ultra-fast algorithm to reduce memory, storage and network transfer requirements. As this is a profiler and not a movie capture utility, the screenshots should be scaled down to a reasonable size. Applications may now provide custom information, which will be displayed in the trace information window next to the host information. Moreover, you can now add a custom trace description, which will be persistent between profiling sessions. 
As you can see, this is greatly helping with the identification of the two compared traces. As a reminder, everything is described in the manual, which was significantly expanded since the previous version. This is but a brief overview of the improvements and changes in the Tracy profiler. Many more things are left for you to discover, such as the completely new CAPI. Oh, and there's a new logo, 